James Green, Short Series Shenanigans. So this is the next episode in the gear cutting. Uh, we just got through talking about in the other video and showing you how to cut it. Talked about a few things. I want to go over real quick how I set everything up as far as with uh, uh, getting my cutter lined up. Let me go ahead and move this over a little bit and get you guys to where you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit. So what I do is, there's a number of ways to do things. So what I actually have here is, this is like a transfer punch that has a uh, tip on one end, okay? Uh, so that you make sure you're lined up, which we've got our head set over here at zero. All right. And so we've got that set at zero, but to make sure everything is correct, I'll just throw that in there, tighten it down a little, and I just bring my cutter down and I center the cutter up on the tailstock, which I already know these are already set to the right height. I've already went through all the headache of getting this set up and level. And so all we have to do now is just get our cutter set to height, come in here, drop it down, and you just find the center of the cutter. And we go just a little bit. and that'll work. Lock it down, and then what we can do is just slide over to the next one, and just make sure that we're centered up, and that's gonna center up on that cutter, and it is. So that tells me everything, even though it says zero, we still wanna make sure, because you know that's just a close indicating number. Although this one's very accurate, I still just wanna make sure that we're not cutting gears crooked or anything. I just got through adding. <laughs> So if you see red flood coolant coming, or red coolant or oil coming down, I just put some marble, well, I have a marble oil mystery mix for the bearings up here. So, well, and it's a waste oil system. So anyway, <clears throat> so let me get all this moved over out of the way here. Because we're actually gonna cut on the front side for this video. <clears throat> you guys can see. Get this set in here. Let me back up a little bit. No, you guys can see good. Okay. Open this up. Now what I like to do, okay, make sure, again, avoid that flat spot just so that I know I'm where I need to be. Dial this in here. And this is the same uh, same size as my other T-handle. Matter of fact, I want to make sure this sucker's in here tight. I'm going to get my other T-handle because I'm get a little bit more crank on it because I do not want that to move. You know, it's kind of one I use the term. It's a me thing. I've learned from, uh, especially when you're cutting a new gear, you want to make sure that thing is tight. So I'm coming in here. The dachshund alarm went off. So what I'll usually do is I'll come in here and we'll line up first. Well, I shouldn't have got it that tight yet. So I need to line up. Come on. So we need to leave it loose in here so we can get lined up so we can dial it around. Matter of fact, let's get right in here, and this is where I'll also set the depth too. I'll just double check it. Now what I'll do is I'll dial this in here, and then I know it's right in. Uh, let me throw this in forward, even though we're gonna cut in back gear. Get where I can turn it by hand. And, oh yeah. So what I did was, let me move the camera because I want to show you guys this. This is how I like doing my videos. Okay. So you can see what I did. Get this out of the way here. All right. So what I did was, 
other left. All right, Let's see if I can get it to focus. All right, what I did was I slowly sat there and pulled the table in and I just rotated this to where I had a tooth flat width, okay? That way it's just right there flat width. Now I'm gonna tighten my chuck down, okay? Okay, so that way, that tells me, I'm gonna get these out of the way over here, I am aligned. Now, what I should be able to do is at this point, I know I'm bottomed out, I'm gonna zero out. Okay, and I'll just leave you guys right there and show you what I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna call that zero. I'm gonna do just, it's how I do stuff. Pull out this back lash. Now I should be 210 as I know my minimum. I know it's probably deeper than that. So we're gonna go, there's 100 and we're about, okay. That's 200, and if I do another 10, I know that that's still not clear enough. So we know we're gonna have to change our depth. Is actually gonna be, there's 220. I know, pardon the head, I don't know if that's gonna clear or not. And if I go 225, that should clear, because that's that was the deepest measurement I had. That's going to be awful close. Pardon the head, I'm sitting here trying to look at this. I'm going to rotate this just a little bit. Yep. 225, just clearing. Okay. All right. So I'm going to set my, my gates. I got my pins set up. Everything's just, you start whatever hole you're in. And we know that that'll work. So 225 will work that we're gonna have to dial in. Now, I gotta take my slack out the other way. Re-zero out. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we should, just to test to make sure we're lined up correctly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring this tooth up and see if we're centered. So one and the nine holes. And I'm looking and it's centered. I'm gonna do it one more time and then we move our gate. One, nine holes. That's just how you verify that you've that, that little your math, if you did the math or if you use that chart that it was correct. Look in here, and we're correct. So we know it's correct. We'll go ahead and line up here. That should be it. Yep, that's it. Okay. So, whole set doesn't matter either way, because we're, you know, now we're going to go ahead and rotate it down and we're going to start our cut because we're going to have to cut here and here to create the one tooth. So we're going to one, well, let's try that again. Got my, get my gate set. There we go. All right. So we're going to go one and nine holes you get confused real easy when you're doing this video stuff too okay so that should be it that should be the center of our next hole and we're going to cut against it so we're actually going to start here and come this way so i need to move the camera and i'm going to move you guys back here just a little bit Whoop. so you can see what's going on sorry Okay, now I'm going to get everything set up here. Uh, 
we're going to lock this in. Okay. That's locked in, that's locked in. I know these are tight, I know these should be tight. Double check. Yeah, everything's still tight. I know everything should still be tight back here. We'll double check, make sure. Yep, yep, it's tight. Okay, and then, don't worry about that. That's out of the way to get all the necessary tools out of the way. Let's put this out of the way. All right, <clears throat> now I know I'm going to need some splash shields up here. I'm going to try to leave it to where you guys can see what's going on. <clears throat> but at the same time, I need to keep all the fluid where it needs to be. I'm going to get that plugged in and going. And I got another piece of metal up here to help direct the flood coolant slash cuttings. All right. And we're not going to be cutting real super fast. So rotary phase converter, and we're going to go back to need to go reverse gear. All right, our back gear, and we're cutting at 80 RPM, which is generally what I cut gears at. going to go 200 and I'm going to go 200 on this first pass just to see add a little coolant through at 200 on both of them and then we'll come back and clean up because I don't want to do too much on one and not on the other I just kind of want to whittle away at it
I got you guys at a good angle there. I love doing this stuff. shut everything off and now we're going to dial in the other move the gate so we're going to dial one and nine holes right there that should be our next one should be lined up same thing phase converter mill coolant only got it going 200 thou depth right now. I'll come back and make another pass and clean it up. That was interesting. It spun a little bit. spun. Let's tighten it up. I thought I had it tight. I guess not. Make sure. Oh, wrong way. That's the only thing I didn't check. I think I'm going to dial this by hand for a little bit and see. like I always say. All right, let's try this again. Back to the power feed. That's still going to jump, but not as bad. Power 
feet's going, slow it down a little bit. Just let her feet away. Like I said, we'll cut these two teeth on camera just so you guys get an idea of how to do this. You always want to cut pushing against. You don't want to climb the And if you climb the it'll jump and grab and break stuff. some hand fitting to this when you get done cleaning it up. That's just part of it. Looking good. I'll show you in the video when I weld the other one how I do it all. take a chance of breaking some of that stuff going a full depth cut but all the 25 foul left that should have time we got we got a little bit for the last cut now I'm gonna go back the other way so we're gonna go this way so I need to go well well make sure I'm still even get that out of my way Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you need to do. Alright. Actually, I think I slid off a tooth, I'm not sure. When in doubt, drop back 10 yards and punt just to make sure. I've made those mistakes before, and you get in the middle of that, and you're like, no. So now we're going to go. you always go back and double check yourself because you don't want to make that mistake and go oh no because I've done that and it's not fun go there's your little zoom in I know most of it was just we're gonna pull that out and do some hand fitting we still got two more gears or that one tooth to cut out but hopefully you know I run across where I was turning it the wrong way and I was going back and double check and make sure okay I don't want to get a half a tooth off or a space off so there at the end you, you know I've made those mistakes before and it's like wait a minute okay I need to go the other way no I still went the wrong way no I still went the wrong way Hey, you know, it's just go back, find your, you saw how I went back, okay, make sure you find the center, okay, am I lined up, I'm not sure, shut everything off, throw it in normal gear, get in there, line up, double check it, make sure, because we don't want to mess the gear up, so, but when you're cutting a new gear, it's, you know, but going back and forth, you can get turned the wrong way real easy, you saw how, you know, but hey, that's, live and unedited you guys get to see it so that's how we're doing we're going to do the other gear I'm, and i'm going to show you the welding on the big gear when we do that i'm not going to show you cutting the teeth on the big gear that's how we're going to do it and then i will show you when we make the new one so there you go i hope you guys have enjoyed it spread the word about my channel thanks to all the new youtube subscribers take care of yourself and take care of your family because remember at the end of the day you and your family is all you got till next time get out in the garage get a chance to make some gears on a bridge port, do it. This stuff is fun. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>